Hello, my name is Farah Yi. I am currently a graduate student at the University of Michigan. My advisor is Mel Hoxter. I'm currently on the academic job market. I want to tell you a little bit about my research. So my current research interests are in commutative algebra. Uh, in particular, I'm interested in questions pertaining to multiplicities. My current research projects primarily deal with Hilbert Samuel multiplicities, but I'm also interested in different types of multiplicities that are related. Um, another uh, area of interest for me is understanding maximal co-Macaulay modules. Um, in particular, my current research projects um, are about understanding Ulrich modules, which are special kinds of maximal co-Macaulay modules. And a lot of my research have, has applications towards long-standing open conjectures, such as Lex conjecture. Um, I am also in general interested in the remaining open homological conjectures. So I want to set up my current research a little bit. So um, my current research is on Ulrich modules, and in particular, um, on the existence of Ulrich modules. So the setting I'm generally working with is I have a local ring R, and my residue field is infinite. And an Ulrich module M over R is a maximal co-Macaulay module where the minimal number of generators is maximal. So the number of minimal generators is, in fact, the multiplicity of M. Um, again, historically, the problem of the existence of Ulrich modules is a very difficult question, which has powerful implications. Uh, for example, existence of Ulrich modules for complete local domains implies uh, two long-standing open conjectures, a Lex conjecture as well as Serre's positivity conjecture. So my research project right now um, has kind of two broad veins. Uh, the first is finding counterexamples to the existence of Ulrich modules, and the second is finding new classes of rings for which Ulrich modules exist. So um, for the counterexample side, um, for a long time since Bernd Ulrich introduced the notion of Ulrich modules, it was not known whether or not local domains uh, always had Ulrich modules, and very recently I gave the first counterexample. Um, so I proved that Ulrich modules do not exist by constructing a local domain. And in fact, you know, it's a complete local domain that does not have an Ulrich module. And using this construction, I was also able to construct a local domain R that has an Ulrich module but localizes to a ring without any Ulrich modules. So um, one downside is that my counterexample is not co-Macaulay. And so an ongoing project that I'm working on is finding counterexamples in the co-Macaulay case. So the other kind of in the opposite direction is uh, finding positive existence results. Again, historically, this has been very difficult. Uh, some of the major results were strict complete intersection rings in the 80s. Uh, as well as uh, Veronese subrings of polynomial rings and generic determinantal rings in um, the early 2000s. So a broad current project that I have is to look for new classes of rings for which Ulrich modules exist. For example, one might look at certain nice subclasses of toric rings. Um, I've also constructed some promising candidates for rings, uh, for example, rings Rn, where for even n, Rn is a strict complete intersection, but for odd n, Rn is not a strict complete intersection. Um, so if you're interested, please let me know. And finally, kind of an offshoot projects that arise from my uh, research on Ulrich module is that my current work involves a lot of computational labor. For example, uh, I'm computing Hilbert Samuel multiplicities, number of generators, um, minimal reductions. And so a very natural question to ask is, okay, if I understand a class of rings really, really well, um, can I kind of salvage that computational labor if I use that class of rings to construct a new class of rings? Um, so one question that I have is, can I understand how Hilbert multiplicity changes when I'm taking certain kinds of ring extensions? So one side project that 
I worked on was adjoining an nth root of an element f to an excellent local domain. And I was able to find upper and lower bounds for the new multiplicity in terms of n, uh, something called the rational order of f, and the Hilbert uh, Samuel multiplicity of the original ring. All right, thank you for listening. Um, if you're interested, please come to my champ talk.